So I think this year is a, 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 a correction year. I don't think it's bad. I think, and the reason I say that is because there's people out here doing good. There's people out here doing not so good. There's people out here surviving that are maintaining. I think if you follow my channel to all the new people, you know I, I'm big on economy. Uh, my channel kind of took off last year because I was the guy who told people they were going not going to see no peak season. And I formulated my <clears> – <throat> I formulated – um my forecast on that by just studying the economy, <clears throat> understanding what was going on, understanding the boom and bust cycle, understanding inflation, understanding supply and demand, paying attention to what the retailers were saying, paying attention to the um, the buying behavior of the consumer. Um, I think it's a year that is going to test uh It's going to separate <coughs> the haves from the have-nots, and it's going to separate the wolves from the sheep. The people who are surviving are wolves. They're going to do whatever it takes to win. And then there's going to be people that are going to be passive. They're going to do whatever it takes to get by all while uh, robbing from the sustainability of the business. And then it's just going to be the people that are going to perish. The people that are in the middle, they're going to eventually perish, too, if they're not conducting their business right, because they're just comfortable with getting by. <clears throat> Especially if they're not, you know, structuring their business correctly. Um, eventually, they're going to perish, you know, because if the pendulum shifts. One way or another, let's say the pendulum shifts in a downward trajectory and you're just running with a mindset of getting by once that pendulum switch shifts in that downward trajectory you're done you're done so it is what it is i i don't i disagree i think times like this are when people turn up you're gonna see the wolf come out of people you're gonna see and you're gonna see some people cower up i think people really don't grasp the concept of that when you start your business it comes with work People have been instilled, have been put, a mindset has been instilled in people from influencers. It's all from influencers online. That when you start a business, it's the it's the gateway to financial freedom because people come to me, man, Mark, <clears throat> I want to start a box. Send me these long ass scriptures, Bible scriptures in my DM, long as hell, three or four pages long. Want me to have some type of sympathy and some long whatever man i just want to start my box truck business because i want more time to spend with my family and then i gotta be the bad guy to tell you dude you're gonna spend less time with your family if you're really gonna do this you're gonna spend less time or you're gonna fail especially at the beginning well why do people think that when they get into business it's gonna allot for them time okay if you start a business where is the time gonna come from don't you gotta build the business no one knows the business exists. You have to take nothing and turn it into something. What does that require? It requires time. So why I don't understand why people think that when they start a business, a box truck business, they're going to have more time on their hands. You're going to have less time on your hands. You're going to have even le more or less time on your hand if you a dog, if you somebody like me. You won't put the business right after God. You're going to pray and then you're going to focus on business. Everything else is going to be second. Everything is second to me. Everything. And some people don't like it. I've seen messages from people that disagree with it. It is what it is. But that separates the wolves from the sheep. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world and business is very cutthroat. And it takes, an, it takes a lot of time at the beginning. So you're going to have less time. <coughs> you're going to have less time. So I, I disagree with Axel on that. I think this is a time where if you can shine in this, you'll shine <clears throat> in anything. When the market shifts, when we get back into a boom cycle, if you're surviving through this, whether that cycle be in 2025, late 2024, 2025, 
my my forecast is 2025. <clears throat> if you can survive in this, you can survive through next year. When we do get back into a good space, as far as the economy is concerned, you'll be in a great space. But then again, what, what happens if this becomes the new norm? You're still in a good space because you're putting that work ethic in that when other people are perishing, you're finding ways to make money. If that requires you working harder and decreasing your living expenses so that you can maintain a healthy business, <coughs> excuse me, then so be it. That's what a good business person does. I used to say this all the time on my channel. I haven't said it recently. Being a business person, majority of your day is going to be solving problems. That's the biggest job any person that's in business is going to do. You become a problem solver. You have to be able to solve problems. If you're not a good problem solver, you will 100% fail in business. 100%. You have to figure out a way to become a good problem solver. You're going to be faced with problems all the time. And depending on how, how high you scale, the higher you scale, the more problems you're going to be faced with on a daily basis. And it's going to be up to you to solve those problems. A problem that people are having now is why I keep reiterating this. It's profitability, cash flow, because people are robbing from the sustainability of their business because the cost of living is where it's at. And people don't want to or don't understand that they have to decrease somewhere or increase somewhere, increase revenue, decrease living. The sacrifice got to come from somewhere. Where are you going to make that sacrifice? <laughs>